and welcome to the St Bede's Catholic College virtual open evening. My name's Miss Simpson and I'm going to talk you through some of the exciting opportunities that your children will have when they join St Bede's within our English department. This is our learning odyssey. This is what we expect our children to learn and what we hope they will gain in terms of skills um, before they reach their GCSE years. So what you'll notice is we, for example, have Shakespeare in the summer of year seven, but we also have Shakespeare again in the spring of year eight. And we do that because we want to reinforce the skills that we will be teaching them within the summer term of year seven. And then we'll reinforce them again in year eight and then again in year nine um, so that the students have the best opportunities of strengthening their skills, strengthening their essay skills as well, so that when they go into GCSE, they feel confident already with the skills that they've acquired. I'm just going to talk through some of the opportunities that we have in terms of um, content for the first year. So we start with transactional writing. Now transactional writing is speeches, letters, articles, and we start with that because it's quite a nice way of breaking the students in and getting to know them a bit better, um, especially when we start with topics like refugees and the new beginnings. Um, obviously it's a new beginning, starting a new school for them. So it's a really good way of getting to know them and their teacher. Then we move on to poetry, and this this year for year seven we focus on Simon Armitage. So we'll look at lots of poetic techniques that Armitage decides to use, and then we will start to introduce them to essay writing. Um, and to do that, we'll talk them through it. We will do some example essays with them. We'll give them some example essays to read so that they are starting to acquire those skills. And some of them will have done that before in primary school, which is fantastic, but some won't. So we might have some that are at slightly different stages, but we cater and make sure that everyone is, um, is feeling confident in those skills. Then we moved on to some imaginative writing and creative writing and we love this, this creative writing unit um, and it's on dreams so we look at different vocabulary that they can use relating to that, we look at narrative voice and how narrative voice can be manipulated in different ways to create different meanings. Um, then in spring we look at non-fiction and with this we look at war and holocaust non-fiction. We start to bring in this idea of conflict because we see quite a lot of um, quite a lot of conflict throughout some of the texts that we look at. So for example, in year eight, we look at um, non-fiction and we look at modern life struggles. Um, we also look at conflict poetry in year nine, and then we move on to do Romeo and Juliet, which also has some conflict in. So we start to bring this idea in, um, in year seven. In the summer, we have a look at Shakespeare, we look at Macbeth in year seven, um, and we look at the witches in Macbeth, and then in the, in the um, second end of the summer term, we look at prose, and we look at myths and legends and morality tales, and that unit we've been doing for a couple of years now, and we love teaching it, and the students love it, so we're very excited to be doing that one again. Um, very similar kind of situation for year eight, we're reinforcing those things again. Um, the 19th century prose at the end of year eight, we look at Charles Dickens and childhood experiences. Um, not just at Charles Dickens, but we look at like the Victorian era, and that's because we study um, we study A Christmas Carol at GCSE, so if they've already got a good idea of the Victorian era and 19th century prose, then that's a really good start to our studies at GCSE. Um, we do study the conflict poetry in year nine, and that's trying to get them to compare um, poems together so that the students can um, uh, build on this skill when they get into year 10 and 11, because it's something that they'll need for their GCSE again. So a lot of these skills we do build on throughout the years, um, and we hope that this will provide them with a real range of different texts, but also the ability to kind of learn a bit more about our world and a bit about society, so that when they leave St Bees, they're leaving as well-rounded students. When they get into years 10 and 11, now this is um, this learning odyssey is available on the St Bees website so if you want to go and have a closer look at it please do um, but this is just a little bit of information about it I won't spend too long on it because obviously it's quite a way away for your for your stu for your children so um, so we've got Dickens a Christmas Carol we've got Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet we've got the love and relationships poetry anthology and then spectacles for the literature and then for the language we do edXL language paper um, where they'll do creative writing and where they'll do the non-fiction where they'll do the transactional writing Writing. So all those skills are built early on so that when they get to GCSE they're feeling a little bit more confident in them. 
Just wanted to touch on the fact that we do offer two A-levels in um, literature and one in language. So the students have the opportunity to go on and study those if they would wish to at our sixth form. Um, again, these odysseys are available on our website, so please go and take a look if you would like to do so. In terms of other kind of um, opportunities that the students have within the English department, the speaking competitions that we enter are really really kind of well thought about um well planned and we do we are really successful in them so we enter three main ones which are the continuum the um english speaking competition the esu and we also enter the gabblers um and we've, we're quite successful in all of them so if your children are interested in debating or if they're interested in um in public speaking then these are the kind of opportunities that will really benefit them we also have opportunities in writing so if your if your children really enjoy writing we offer lots of competitions in um in different styles of writing as well there's also a creative writing club that's run at lunch times which they're more than welcome to access um, so in terms of competitions, um, for example, some of my year eight entered an Anne Frank competition last year. Um, the year before that, some of my year nine entered a competition called um, Letters to the Earth, which was about global warming. And they had to write a letter addressed to the earth. Um, and that we were quite successful in that. Three of our students got chosen to be published in a book, um, which is available in our school library. And you can go and borrow it. So please go and have a look at some fantastic writing um, that's in our school library. And we have a fantastic fantastic library service that your children can access um, and they will have the ability to go and visit the library and see the library, talk to the librarian and enter other kind of opportunities such as book buzz where they're allowed to have a free book at the beginning of the year so there's lots and lots of different things that the college provide for the students in order to keep them engaged in their studies in English. So we're really looking forward to um, your child coming to join us in September and thank you so much for listening.